Nearly 31 million adults in the U.S. have high cholesterol, which can lead to a whole host of diseases, including heart disease and stroke. So how often should you have your cholesterol levels checked? Most recommendations suggest starting at age 35 if you're a male or 45 if you're a female, checking your, getting your cholesterol screen once every year or every two years is highly recommended. About 29 million people in the U.S. are living with diabetes, some undiagnosed. How do you know if you're at risk? If patients are um, struggling with their weight or even their blood pressure, we tend to start screening those folks a little bit sooner rather than later, usually around 30 years of age or 35 years of age. Cervical cancer is one of the most successfully treated cancers if you catch it early. Ideally, we want to start doing cervical cancer screenings, which is what a pap is, uh, starting at the age of 21 and going up to the ages of 65. Um, that PAP should be done roughly every two to three years, every three years on the generous side. Skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the U.S. So how often should you see your doctor to be screened? If you, are, you know, if you know your skin is very fair, if you have a family history of basal cell carcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma, you spend lots of time in the sun without wearing lots of protection, I would recommend annual screenings with a dermatologist. Anything that shows up on your skin in a sun-exposed area that would seem to be abnormal or changes over a period of time is something that you should have screened by a dermatologist on a regular basis. As we get older, we are at risk for bone loss, where bones get weak and are more likely to break. When should you start checking the health of your bones? For women at the ages of 65 or better, um, there's no conclusive evidence that suggests that uh, obtaining uh, bone density screening prior to the age of 65 is proven to be beneficial. Even in men, um, we s suggest that men consider screening at the age of 70. But the scheduling is, should be every, uh, roughly every two years. If someone is known to have known osteoporosis, then that's every year, especially if it's being treated. Doing the basics would actually help and go a, such a long way for you in terms of making sure that you avoid some of the perils that may await you if you don't do these things.